This is BBC London 94.9. You're listening to Joe Good. Weekday afternoons from 3. Now, um, I was talking about it being the end of the summer, marked by one of the hottest days, the hottest day probably, which was Saturday, and the juxtaposition of the fact that I was down on the south coast heading towards Climping Beach, whilst if I turned left on the A27, the horrendous air crash took place uh, just outside Shoreham Airport, and this was obviously um, part of the... happened during the um, Shoreham air display. It was the Hawker Hunter that uh, came down on the A27 during the aerial display. And um, at the moment there are known to be at least 11 people who are thought to have died, but more bodies are expected to be recovered after the wreckage is removed. Well, one of my first thoughts was um, the people I know down there, are they okay? And Richard Durrant, who you all know if you listen to me often enough and listen to this radio station, um, he is the classical concert guitarist who performs a lot on our show. I play his, his cycle music, his bicycle music a, a lot, and he performs whenever he's in London, live in the studio. In fact, the last time he performed was down on the piazza when we were down there for the barking hour. And I emailed him and, and said, please tell me that you and your family are fine. And he said, I am, Joe, but it is uh, just a horrible mood down here at the moment. I'm sitting in my studio, um, and um, there's a, now the sound of sirens and helicopters and planes and police cars and everything that's surrounding him. He then told me that he'd once composed a piece of music for Shoreham Airport, and I'm going to actually let him tell you the rest of the story because I'm really pleased to say that, from Brighton, Richard Durrant joins us on the line. Hello, Richard. Hello, Joe. How are you doing? Well, I'm all right. I mean, uh, I don't want you to have to go through all this again, but uh, just tell me... Where were you on Saturday when this happened? Were you and the family on the beach? My family were on the beach. I was I was playing a, a gig in Holland, and um, my phone started going off. It was my uh, family in Wales actually phoning up. That's the first I'd heard about it. And then I spent I spent the rest of the afternoon and well ever since just re- responding to to family and friends like like yourself. You know, I've been kind enough to get in touch and uh, just to check we're all okay. Um, we're all okay. Um, there are many that aren't, of course, and uh, it's a fairly grim scene. You know, it's uh, it's not a, not a happy time for such a, a normally wonderful, vibrant, happy place to show them. It is, uh, is, it is um, a, a real community. I was saying that when I first met you, you used to come in, you know, with the vicar whose church was on the beach and, you know, yeah. all the people on the houseboats down there. It is a, But you did say to me in this, um, in this email, you said often the locals, because of the air show, would leave. They, it wasn't often there for the locals. Is that right? I, I, I know a significant number of people that, that, that do make themselves scarce at air show weekend. It's a, it's a very noisy time, and, and there's a kind of there's a violence about the sound of those jets, which personally I don't like. Um, um, we, we don't go to the air show as a family, and uh, you know it, it's 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 a danger. I think it was an accident waiting to happen. I just you know my heart goes out to those families and people who've been affected, who've been those that were killed. It's it's just the most horrible scene, but. You know, if you're if you're performing aerobatics in that tonnage of aging plane, then I, I thought it was an accident waiting to happen, and and I, I, it's just very distressing to see. It, it was it was strange seeing it in in Holland, seeing the uh, seeing the news in Holland. You know, it was it was headlines there. Uh, poor little Shoreham, poor little Shoreham. Poor little Shoreham, and as you say, making the national, international news. And as I'm talking to you now, uh, we have all the television screens on and the sound down, and there are just constant images of Shoreham. In fact, there's a, a bit of the beach where you live that's in vision at the moment. You were So you were in Holland, but a month before the crash, you were in Prague, and you were recording a piece that you'd written about Shoreham Airport. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm in the process of recording a new album. It's called The Girl at the Airport. Um, and I was in Prague on the 22nd of July with the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra, recording my um, a couple of tracks from the album, which I've written myself. And they are the title tracks, "The Girl at the Airport," and it was inspired by. Oh, it was inspired when I met, by, by the occasion I met my wife at Shoreham Airport. Um, she was uh, the arts development officer, and uh, she was running a gig for the Ada Festival, and I was booked to play the concert. And uh, you know, later we were married. And it's a happy romantic story. So I thought I'd mark this this sort of. Uh, rather kind of whimsical notion of the girl at the airport, the mysterious girl. I spilled the beans now, everyone knows who she is. But <laughs> very much inspired by that beautiful, sleepy Art Deco building, 
nestling amongst the downs in a normally quiet, you know, little space there by the river. Um, and it's a very romantic piece, but I, 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 I was always scheduled to mix that in the studio today, so I spent most of today uh, mixing tracks and uh, just the irony of it as, they, as the wreckage is cleared from the A27 and, you know, goodness knows what they've uncovered. You've sent us a small piece. We're going to play the second movement, Dancer. Is that right? Um, yeah, you're, you're more than welcome to play. You're the first. I don't, nobody's heard this outside my studio, um, not even my family. So I, I, I thought I'd, when I received your email, it was so lovely to hear from you. Yet another friend expressing concern for, you know, people that live in Shoreham. Um, so I suppose this should be dedicated to, um, to the people that lost their lives. Um, I'm going to change the dedication on the album. <laughs> It's a dreadful time. Richard, thank you so much for talking to us. Send my love to all your family. And I will do. Thank you for allowing us to be the first to hear this. And this is for sure an airport. Richard Durren. go 
wonderful Richard Durrant and the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra.